In the world of microbiology, it's always good to prove a point with pictures. And so today, we shall be showing you how to take good pictures of the things you see under the microscope with your smartphones. Oh yeah, let's dive in. Hello guys, it's another laboratainment all for you. This is where we enjoy how to learn it and we learn how to enjoy it. If you are new to this channel, yeah, you know where the subscribe button is. Now I've been, I've, been, I've been having students who are always all over me and they are like, Sir, please, I want to take pictures of what I have under the microscope and I don't know how to do it. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Does it mean only girls ask these questions? Oh. Right. Okay. I've always been having students around me who always be like, Sir, I'm trying to take pictures of the microscope and I don't know how to do it right. Can you just show me how to do it? Are you okay now? Are you okay now? For, for a start, we have the microscope. Of course, you must have a microscope because you can take pictures from a microscope. Door. Okay. Now, this is the microscope. I put it on. I mounted a vaginal smear slide that has been ground stained and uh, now we are about to view the contents of the slide but this time around we wouldn't be using our eyes on the ocular lenses we will be using the eyes of the phone okay guys for a start you just might want to consider improving on the image quality of your phone camera so we'll probably need to get into the settings of the camera and uh, let's work with picture size now you might want to consider working with the best resolution your phone can offer and in this context is the first option for my phone that is the 3968 by 2976 that's actually aimed at improving the picture size and the quality now we'll, we'll move out of there and uh, my phone happens to have a 48 megapixel settings i'm going to arm that up and all of this is actually meant to still retain a whole lot of quality even after I must have resorted to zooming in the course of taking the picture under the microscope. Now I'll try to zoom a little bit so the quality of the picture is not really jeopardized or something like that's too much. Uh, I think we can work with 2.1. One is good enough. Now, there's a small trick here that I would like to show. Just can you come close up the camera? Let me show what I'm doing right there. I'm actually going to be put, sending uh, the camera closer to the one to one of the eyepiece, and I'm using my hand here as a support. Come, come, come and show this hand that I'm using. Yes, I'm using a, one of my fingers here as a support, uh, which actually acts like a wedge. Yeah, so that I shouldn't uh, move too much. Without the finger there, I might be. A little bit, uh, it might be a little bit too shaky, and before I know it, I'll not be able to get the right pick. And I and I start moving into the camera, into the ocular lens progressively. And here we have a beautiful image uh, that I can snap. Uh, I just took a snapshot of that. Now we have other samples, or uh, other samples that we have viewed in the same sense. And I will be showing you pictures of some. We've had Neisseria gonorrhea, that's what you see on your screen. And we've had Trichomonas vaginalis. And this time around, we, we, we weren't necessarily taking um, pictures because we have to take a video to prove that Trichomonas vaginalis is mortal. So as you can see on the video, those are the moving room. We've had cases where we've observed Candida albicans and we've snapped pseudohyphase and the yeast cells and it's out here for you to be able to make use of this method and get your pictures right for your projects, your thesis and all that. Um, this would be very much applicable in resource limited settings like I earlier mentioned where you do not have the adapters that are meant for this kind of job which are actually supposed to be adapted on the on the on the ocular lens uh, position then links to a camera or to a computer for the for the right kind of pictures to be gotten from the microscopic fields but because we don't have all of that and because we know that there are many other settings like us in especially in africa that do not have all of that so we come up with this idea so you can all benefit from uh, the little we have learned and applied in your settings and 
still have the best of results, best of output. This is Laboratory for you. We'll be coming back with other more exciting, demystifying episodes. But if you want to keep in touch, the subscribe button is right there. Just do what is right by subscribing and getting the bell ticked for your notifications. Thank you very much. It's Laboratory Thank you.